Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Atelier Rizza Mythology Sub-Zero. I might have already used that one. I don't know. I'm the Mysterious JG. <laughs> I'm still the lethal feline. My byline is always original. Right. Well, we're here, um... We're waiting for the uh, intro movie to cycle because there's a new intro movie that plays sometimes. And we'll see if we get it this time. But we definitely have uh, foreground Lent, midground Tau, and... The titular character is just way back there. I guess she's not the titular character, which she is in, in, in one way. But uh, Ateliarizza would actually be the the, the secret hideout itself. That is the that is where the title comes from. And we have uh, Claudia over there on the left. She kind of she blended into the background of blonde-haired trees wearing blue skirts. Of course. <laughs> Well, we'll see if this thing actually starts up. It's been a couple of weeks since we recorded, so I can't remember what's even going on anymore. But here we go. And I haven't Will touched... Will be the new one. I haven't touched the game since the last time we recorded. And now, God damn you, game! It hates me. It is just not cooperating. All right, well. Some other time then, game. For now, we will return... to... whatever we were doing. 10.57 p.m. That I'm going to guess that's the most current slot. Let's see. What's up? Now, we had definitely made our way to, uh, like, a new scary castle -y looking place. I need to... Hold up one second. I need to change my inputs. I'm watching this through the... I'm watching this through the recorder, which usually is fine, but it seems to be really laggy, so I'm going to switch my inputs. But, no, we had found us some... Uh, fancy uh, new digs with like dragons and shit flying around we were definitely advancing the main plot but uh can't remember exactly why we we're going to meteor castle oh yeah we have this idea that uh now that there's dragons in meteor castle they're they're gonna come murder the town unless we go investigate i think that was where it was happening even though the last time we encountered the dragon it just sort of pissed off so as trying to, you know, emulate us. As did the giant Pokemons that we uh, encountered right after building our atelier. So, I do not know where this story is going, and I'm legitimately interested in finding out. What does Claudia have to say? Same thing as last I time. Find out. Please, so okay, so I did the same thing as last time. Somebody mentioned in passing, actually, that, uh, and I. I an ingredient that we found somewhere along the way, I think in the goat quest, uh, is useful for the quest with the guy on the pier. So I wonder uh, if we can find a unique item from the goat quest and consider why how it might be useful. And the answer might be, no, I can't do that at all. <laughs> that might be the answer here. Too much inventory to sort. Just can't be done. Anything that looks like a piece of paper a, bo a goat might have provided, I'm just kind of looking for. A scrap paper. Eh, yeah, I don't know. Oh. Well, we can hop down Maybe to next the, time. We can hop down to the actual... Oh, treasure info. We have new treasure info. The old path at the river cave. And the shipyard. I suppose we could, uh, investigate the shipyard. Or not? That is one thing. That is one thing we did last time. Is we did expand our awareness of the world. So now we have like volcanoes and castles. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. We 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 went pretty far afield of where we have been in the past. I'm not having any yeah. luck figuring out this uh, shipyard. I thought I knew where it was. I'm gonna say the only shipyard I know of is in the tra uh, Traveler's Road, but maybe we haven't been there yet. The old. Oh, I keep going to the Pixie Forest. You're right, the Traveler's Road would be the place. So if we were to warp here and see if there are any treasures to be found. We gotta go around that left loop. Mm -hmm. We gotta take over the loop. 
All right, everybody drink. Oh, man, it's that time already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Leaf, I know you've got something prepared. Not tonight. I'm trying to cut back because of the old tummy. Yeah, I Trying to you. get somehow back into, back into a uh, more unstoppable state. I'm getting closer. You are, you are less stoppable than you were. I, uh, I meant to tell you off mic, uh, I actually am trying a liquid diet today. I'm going to try to do it like, you know, once a fortnight or so. And the major difference between doing a liquid diet in prep for a colonoscopy and doing a liquid diet because you just feel like doing a liquid diet is you can actually put like pepper and shit in, in chicken broth <laughs> so it doesn't taste like garbage and I can eat jello of whatever color I want. It's amazing how much more pleasant this is. <laughs> For those who don't know which colors of jello you need to avoid, you need to avoid red jello and others with red in them because Pur otherwise they may think that's blood. <laughs> yeah, red and purple are off the menu, which uh, would have been my favorite flavors. But no, for me, the, made, the huge thing, it's just like I had chicken broth for dinner and I could put salt and pepper in it, which I maybe I could have done that, but I was not too sure. It made a massive difference as far as how palatable it was. I think so. Eventually, you might even make soups, but let's not get too ahead. Let's not go nuts. I got I got a bunch of soups I bought, but uh, they are not all liquid. Ooh, what? Treasure map has been updated. Game's like anything to get you guys to stop talking about colonoscopy prep. All right. Now can I? Ch I can't. Again. I cannot check their treasure info from here. Apparently, that's a shame. Well, you need to go to the table. If you do yeah. not have the table, you can't look at the, the treasure map. Uh, because it so. is adhered to the table permanently. I, I suppose that's, that's not too much of a sacrifice considering how easy fast travel is now. Mm -hmm. Unless it turns out that it was like three... The, the next treasure clue was four feet away from where we were and we have to go all the way back. Crimson Forest Secret. Northern Fork. Okay, and River Cave. So either Northern Fork or River Cave would be a fun place to go next. Now this has not those things. This has the Northern Fork. Well, so we could take another look at the Northern Fork. And it's, oh, I don't think we can get to those. I think there's like weird movement tech we don't have yet for that. We don't have whatever we need for those uh, little floaty jumps or whatever they are. Yeah, it's like some kind of like teleport looking dealy. So I guess we can try the river cave, and if the river cave ain't going to be a thing, then we just, uh, we ain't doing no more treasure hunting for the moment. Mm-hmm. Hidden village. Oh, it's just here, but the river cave has not shown up in the interim. I mean, if it was me... And I was someone who would deduce things. I would think the river cave may be in a place that is cavernous, perhaps a mine. But that would be me making unfair, you know, having unfair prejudices where these rivers may make their homes. I mean, it's a river cave. It would be underwater. Be... Is there a little? Is there a river coming out of the sunken mine, going through the? I this mean, there's area? an adjacent kinda looks ocean like there is. to it. <laughs> yeah, kind of looks like, but it looks like there's a river going right through this chunk of rock right here. Yeah, but that's not a thing we can that do. That's not a thing we can yeah. do yet. So perhaps we should head for uh, Smoky Mountain Path. That's the favorite path of Jim Cornette. Let me see here. What are we actually supposed to be doing? We're probably going to that castle. Unwilling to let Boss hog all the glory, they decide to follow the others and head to Meteor Castle themselves. Indeed. Oh, lethal remembering what he read like, I don't know, five minutes ago. We'll poke about in the castle a bit. I'm a little nervous, but I think I'll have fun being murdered by Meteor Castle monsters. Oh yeah, we have actual monsters that look pretty imposing here. Oh yeah. Some sort of cyborg knights. It's hard to tell what's going on with these cyborg guys. Cyborg ninja. Let's 
see what I remember about the controls, because it has been a couple of days. Or weeks, rather. Living armor. Oh, we found a critical weakness of this thing. Well, as intimidating as they like... look, they don't seem to be uh, really that threatening so far. That's good. Okay. That's what we actually thought. It's just in time to not do anything to that guy. But I guess it counted, because uh, he followed up. I want to see things burn! Fire! Fire! <laughs> Claudia wants to see fire damage, though. I wonder what we got here. Uh, a rusted sword and some amatite ore. And an old knight emblem. That's a whole lot of fancy new shit here. We, it looks like you did not actually pick up the sword, or maybe my video lag there. Oh, that would have been a shame. Oh well. It was rusted anyway. Yeah, probably no good. These guys don't seem to be that aggressive about uh, actually attacking first. Yeah, most of the enemies in this game are not like the ones we saw in Symphonia, which were constantly up our asses. <laughs> well, I mean, some of the, the golems will just like suddenly jump up on you, but yeah. You, you kind of got to get pretty close before they take notice. She just, she just wants fire damage dealt. That's just not... That's not a thing that, she can, that we can do easily here. I do appreciate it telling us exactly what skills it's weak to. Hmm. Since there's a lot of stuff going on. You're correct. I think I did not take the rusted sword. But we'll take this one, and we're going to pretend it's the same one. I don't want to repeat of the Iron Bangle uh, Crisis from Final Fantasy XIII. The crystal Crisis. The Crystal Crisis. Oh, wait. <laughs> crisis Crystals. Music is pretty uh, snazzy here, too. Yeah, it feels like there's some sort of evil about this place, even though, again, that may be an unreasonable prejudice, considering everything has not really attacked us. We've been the aggressor. I got the plan. I have no idea what it actually is, though. It's a tough log. Log ain't playing around. I think this one go a little faster by using the axe and taking defense down. I was gonna say, these guys are purple. What oh, kind of secrets do they hold? They're ghost armor. My goodness. They are significantly more powerful, or at least uninclined to take damage from us. Oh, but they're weak against magic. I mean, as is typical. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of weaknesses that may not make sense in the grander scheme, but a Possessed armor, I would suspect, would not be really affected by physical damage. I always just, because it's a big uh, Final Fantasy thing, the undead are particularly susceptible to fire, and, and I always thought, well, yeah, but it's it's not so much that they're susceptible to fire as that there's other things they're not susceptible to, whereas pretty much everything should be killed by fire. <laughs> ah! This is some sort of ifrit. They snuck up on me. They actually are capable. My god. They're you evolving. The advantage. They're There's learning. Two of them. Makes a difference, though. We're, we're doing less attack because we didn't get that tactic level one to start with. Well, we don't really need to fire a damage, but now I'm, I want to see what she does. We have not seen it yet. Maybe we get like a, a free healing. Uh... I did fire damage and shouldn't do anything. Sad. Apologize. <laughs> Claudia leading us on like that. Like she was going to do something. What a magic tease. Oh, that killed it pretty good. We just threw a bunch of, uh, mm. you know, super spears at out of nowhere. Oh, look, she wants us to do fire damage now. Maybe she's just giving, you know, 
contextual information Ooh. on the flyer. A, a, that javelin attack is a thing that we can utilize for further excitement. Sapling branches. All right, back to the side. If they're going to be all dodgy and evasive, it's back to the side. Hmm. I do not have any items which can be used. There's no way we can jump across. <laughs> you need a plank of wood to set it across. Mm -hmm. now, like I, I told you in Grimmett the other night, I've been watching um, here and there but the uh, old Let's Play Harvester. You need to... Uh, break stuff and then build a thing at, like the, the prison escape puzzle was particularly like ridiculous <laughs> involved uh, making a thing that the guard would uh, hit their head on when they came into the room <laughs> out of like common household objects I mean that's just gotta be how an adventure game works you can't have straightforward puzzles fear is tough mm -hmm. we got to uh, grab uh a branch from a specific tree in a specific forest, and, uh... You pixel right. hunt a singular mm -hmm. coin so you can buy a condom to, you know, right. support the Nazis later. <laughs> so that Leisure Suit Larry will join your party. You have to buy the condom, and... It takes me back to how obnoxious those things were. I can't even remember what that one in that room played with. <laughs> was called where that pixel hunt for the coin for the condom to put over the pipe to do something. Oh, was it that was the Thwart the Nazis. Yeah, no, that's right. That was I can't remember the name of the game either, but it ends with Elf Wiedersee and Schmuck. It's a classic. Mm -hmm. Alright, trying to murder some more of these ghosty knights. I think we've I think we've officially established that these guys are not a threat. So at some point we we'll probably need to stop just beating them up, but Just coming to their house, summoning uh -huh. you know, holy spears of justice. Exactly. They, they're not even... Like, the first one to actually aggressively attack us is about the fifth or sixth one we fought. So we can't even say... There's no way to say we're not just here picking a fight. You know, they have plenty of reason to attack us, especially since I think castle law would be, you know, a thing in this particular region. Seeing if there is a castle. What is that Latin term? They have the right to, uh... They have the right to take the first crack at your, uh, wife before the wedding night, you know? <laughs> it's, uh, old-time rules. I see. <laughs> Not exactly the direction I was going in, but okay. Castle <laughs> law, yeah. <laughs> Castle law. Isn't that, isn't that what Braveheart was about? Castle law. All right. Wait, okay, for a second I thought, we, oh, these stairs are too steep for the RZA. I think we might have reached a point where I'm not going to fight every one of them I see. Oh, the Dragon Master's study. Interesting. I see. We're going to meet a new party member. We'll be the Dragon Master. This looks really magical. It gives me kind of a strange sensation. It makes me feel all tingly. Ooh, magic dome. You know, this could be covered with, like, magic. The magic equivalent of radiation. We're just, you know, palming this. Later we'll get back and we'll realize we were sterile because of this magic radiation or something. Well, I figured old magic tome might have been like a key item, but now it's like, oh, never mind. It's just an alchemy ingredient. We were getting tome, magic tome pieces and complete magic tomes as standalone items. Okay, That's my the favorite game. Shining sand. Okay. We're finding tomes lying around, but the treasure chest is full of sand. I like... mean, it could it could be like gold gold bits. It is shining. Ooh, there's a there's a big old uh, knight across the way there. It's Mac tonight. Of course, we have to go around the long way to get to him. I love how cute and round mushrooms are. Oh wow! <laughs> Sounds like she would be a big fan of Donald Trump's penis, from what I've heard. This is why people come to this channel. You never know what JG's gonna fucking say. <laughs> well, it's not, I didn't pull that one out of the air. That's a thing. <laughs> Fodder and sweet leaf. Sometimes Dang. whether I'm here or I'm watching these videos, I'm just like, <laughs> same response. You can say that. 
hell? It's, I didn't make this up. That's part of the I public. Know you didn't make that it is up. the public <laughs> record. <laughs> like, there's left field and then there's JG. <laughs> That's where sometimes that. where these come from. How round and cute these mushrooms are. All right. I think the music really adds to the fun of referencing penises as well. <laughs> the tension, the adventure, the penises. All right. Nameless grass. Ooh, I wonder if this is a new variation on an old monster theme. I was going to say the castle weasels are here. Got the silky fur. It is indeed a new animal. But it makes the same tortured noises as we destroy it. And I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, these weasels were the pride of this castle in its heyday. They bred them to have the silkiest fur. That's why it's called the Silk Weasel Castle. <laughs> I level up. They have a lot of things that are just named on their attributes, whether it be Pussy Village or this particular castle. <laughs> and her silent flute playing. Yeah, I'm just spamming the ultimate javelin attack now, as you can tell. <laughs> it's a dog flute in this particular occasion, by the way. It really irritates the weasels. Silver onies are new. Tough log is not. Nectar fruit, which is clearly a peach. Well, we run the risk. We're eventually going to run at a carrying capacity before we finished exploring this place. Oh wow, you're you're aggressive. And silk. Understandably silk so. Silk weasels like to attack. I, was say, I can't even make that reference anymore. That was old. <laughs> well, been old for years. But silk weasels attack. <laughs> silk weasel is the most dangerous member of Foxhound. It's like a twenty-year-old reference at this point. We have the, the well, Dark Shadow Pony. Those are the more innocent times of Fox. <laughs> when things just when weasel, Yeah, when things just attacked. You know, other than trans people or, you know, <laughs> socialist immigrants or whatever. It is more about, like, dogs or yeah. <laughs> silky weasels to those times. Oh, now she wants ice damage. She's very particular. So, I haven't been paying that much attention on uh, Claudia's turns. Is she just healing us periodically? Is that why we're not, like, really taking any appreciable damage? Uh, probably. My my input cannot be that good right now because I am seeing another slideshow. Uh, I was hoping that would get better. I got better internet, folks. Uh, recently upgraded that, but... Uh, it's making down... It's making uploading videos to YouTube way faster. Not necessarily... Fixing all problems related with sharing. It could even be me that's the problem, which is a weird, a weird thing to think about. I refuse to accept that possibility. I refuse to accept you even said that. There's no way. You said all right. what? <laughs> all right, let's, that thing you said about Donald Trump's penis. I don't know why you went there. Me either. All right, Claudia. I dealt fire damage. I guess the explosive poonies don't count as fire damage then. I don't know. It's explosive damage, it's just different, clearly. No, I mean, it looks like maybe it is. Yeah, it doesn't have fire damage as an attribute, so I guess it's not a fire. I accidentally teleported instead of attacking, that's nice. Alright, then I'll just spam more Eclipse Javelin. Eclipse Javelin is really good for people who just want different angles of the Rissa. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't, right? Let's go ahead and get our black poony balls, and we'll continue. Poony balls, we're going to grab them. Poony balls, that's probably enough of those flowers. Yeah, yeah. Arbor ruins, so... We might as well transition to this screen just to get it on our mind. I think we came from this screen to get there, possibly. Or is this new? No. I do enjoy going out with everyone like this. No, it's like it's on the other side of a, a rock wall that we cannot destroy. Oh, indeed. We had uh, found this before. We've been on the other side of this indestructible wall. Which may, you know, soon be destructible. 
Yeah, we need your your famous bomb rod, probably. I would think the bomb rod would be the thing. And I, you know, amongst the new ingredients we've picked up, any one of them could, in fact, be the bomb rod fodder. Oh, hey, hi. <laughs> I didn't notice you there before, friend. Didn't notice you there before, Fred. Proceed to murder, Fred. Yeah. Well, I was kind of curious, are they the regular old weasels from this area? And they are, in fact, the regular old weasels from this area. We just ripped them in half like a phone book. Man, Lent, Lent hates him some weasels, apparently. <laughs> He's like, I will learn new skills the more weasels we murder. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me if you call them friends or not. I just want to see them die. I'm a little worried how they're referred to as the weasel race. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a little uh, fascism going on here. The weasel race. <laughs> they are inferior. They all like rats, except they are weasels. Well, to placate has... Lent's bloodlust, we must continue with the weasel murder. Beat the weasel, just like Lent wants. Is it a euphemism? Find out at 11. I will never get tired of hearing weasel squeaks. I'm glad to hear it because uh, there's plenty more to come, I think. The flute playing in the battle music, a Claudia special? I am not even sure. Oh, we got Animal Hide this time. I think it is, because I did make no of that. Yeah, it's, it's it sounds a bit different. Use Eclipse Javelin when Riz is in the party. It'd be really impressive if you use when Riz is not in the party, since it's her special attack. Alright, well... We can, uh... I guess we, uh, I guess it was the other direction that we came to to get here initially. But honestly, at this point, we've done enough, like, I, pro I think we just want to head back to the Atelier just to jump off our inventory. And then warp and back then, here for the next video. Yeah, next time we can follow the blue doors and get some progress. Look at all those rusty swords we've accumulated. Although it might be the time to check and see. Yeah. Is there any hot new gear we can build with these hot new ingredients? Specifically the bomb rod. Specifically the bomb rod. Holy Arbor Branch and bomb. Can't make the bomb rod. We need... Not exactly sure what the hell that is. There's also a hammer. Ethereal stone feels like it's a plot thing. Like we're going to get to a place where we are given one. And I got that same feeling about the Holy Arbor Branch. Like a bomb we can make. Uh, not the rest so much. Uh, kind of makes me laugh still, because it's all, how do you make a hammer? Will you take a rock that is non-corporeal? <laughs> right. I'm, all, I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> how do you make Polish powder? Powder. Well, you, you grind up a kielbasa and you add some ash and sand. Zephyr? And I want to have a kielbasa. It's been a long time since oh. I can't eat anything good anymore. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought it up. That's one of my one of my favorites I don't get very often. Um, Helioprox. Practice flute. Oh, that's a good point. I don't think I bothered to do any weapon upgrading for our new party member. Uh, we could probably Ooh, we don't have a lot of firing gods. Maybe I wanna hold off and like get some good firing gods before I try to do that. Okay. Building material. Okay. Maybe not as much exciting new stuff going on as I had thought, but we definitely got to kill some weasels, and that's the main purpose of all of this when you get right down to it. So when At we come back next <laughs> So when we come back next time, folks, we'll be delving uh, deeper, less deep, depending on how you look at it, into Meteor Castle. Um, so that'll be a thing that we hope mm -hmm. you join us for.